What up, you guys? Um, RJ from Oddworld for Weirdos here, and as the title suggests, I'm pretty sure my house is haunted. And the reason why I say this is because since we found this guy, a lot of weird shit's been happening. Now, as far as where the Baradin came from, a friend of mine was working. He works in construction and they were working on a house that was supposed to have been abandoned for like two years or so. And they had already cleared it out the day before and they were getting ready to destroy some walls. And they found, he found a Baradin sitting dead center of the living room. Dead center sitting, there was nothing else in the house, nothing, nada. And ever since we've gotten Lola Baron in here, I've been having some weird things happening. Like, the other day I was sitting in my room. I could see the door somewhat swinging, like, like barely, but kind of moving. And I assumed it was the cat probably messing around back there. And then it slammed shut. The cat wasn't there, and nobody else was in the house. So, I noped out of there real quick. And that's actually happened a couple of times with the bathroom door, which is attached to it, and the bedroom door. And I'm going to go ahead and upload some pictures here. And as you can kind of sort of see, the phone went off. There's four pictures in the phone. And when we first took the picture, for some reason it's been darkening all the time. But when we first took the picture, when the pictures were first taken, we didn't realize they were taken until um, he accessed his phone and realized that it was on camera. So we went and looked at it because he figured maybe I pressed something or something. And the timestamp for was for a time we were out at the store, so nobody else should have been in the house. And in one of the pictures, kind of sort of see, like, a bared in face, like, right here. Like, that much of a space. And then, the other night, I was talking about how creepy he was and how I wanted to get rid of him. And when I'd gone to bed, I had these gauges in or this gauge in, and I have, I was woken up, because I've, I'm frequently woken up by someone randomly yelling my name, or yelling hey, and the king will crash or something, when it, it's, nobody's there, nothing's there for to be happening, and that just happens sometimes, just no reason, no explain reason at all, and so I was sleeping, and I heard a, a loud pop in this ear, and it woke me up and startled me, and I figured, oh, it was just one of those usual, like, fake things that happened. And then my ear was itching, so I go and I itched it, and I pulled the top part off. Now, I, I had assumed that the screw had come undone, like they've done before, and I'll go ahead and send some pictures, but these... And I don't wear them in the shower with me, so the temperature couldn't have messed with them. I don't wear them to bed very often. I take as good a care of these as I possibly can. I don't put them in chemicals that I know would mess with or deteriorate the plastic. And the reason why it's kind of like freakish is because of the fact that it's the breakage is super smooth. There's no ridges. There's, it's like somebody cut it. And I woke up with it. It popped in my ear and woke me up. And that was the same day I was talking about how creepy he was and how I was going to go ahead and get rid of him. Not to mention the fact that in multiple places I've put him, when nobody else was there to mess with him, he's moved from those spots. I'm pretty sure my house is haunted by by this, but maybe maybe a kid inherited it with his soul or something and just needs a living home, which he's not gonna get here, but I'm sure he'll he'll get it somewhere. Be sure to like, 
you know, hit that like button so I know what you guys like seeing. Um, subscribe, you know, for more content and future content, and be sure to share it with your friends so that we, you know, we get more notoriety. And then, if you have any questions or anything, uh, be sure to leave a little comment, and we'll get we'll actually try to get back to you as soon as possible. So. Bye.